Hey y'all, for those of you new here, my name is RK Gold. I'm an author and business consultant living down in New Orleans, Louisiana. And today I'm going to be reacting to Idea, Even Shadows Have Shadows. This was requested by Ishmael uh, Gedamsi. I'm so sorry for mispronouncing your name. I swear if it told to me, I would remember it forever. I'm just struggling right now without reading it. Anyway, thank you very much for the recommendation. I've heard of Idea before. Um, I've never actually reacted to his work. Uh, I believe I actually have another one of his songs on my list as well. And I just wanted to get to this today. Also, since Aaron is uh, so graciously unloading all of the groceries, I didn't want this time to go to waste. So thank you for watching. As always, if you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe button with the bell notification. You can follow me on social media at AuthorRKGold. That's at AuthorRKGold on Twitter and Instagram. You can leave your recommendations in the comments below or my DMs, they're always open. I, I might release a video uh, this weekend or later next week talking about my current work in progress. I'm really excited about this book. It should be, the first draft should be done by the end of the month and it should actually be published by, uh, I mean, if I do a proper release with a decent amount of time for pre-order, it should be out by like October, maybe November. So I'm excited about that as well. Thanks for watching. As always, let's just keep enjoying great music together. All right, so here we have Idea, Even Shadows Have Shadows. Okay, awesome. That that was a sick intro. Not not so he gave us this long sort of intro where he said just relax, just listen. Um, so and it sort of introduced us into this world of sound, um, very heavy on the percussion side. Then we sort of get this warped sound that's like, oh, and it it gives us sort of like troubled waters which he then, like, it, you can sort of feel this disruption, like dropping something in water. And then he gives us that image with his lyrics. So he really doubles down on that sound. He really knows how to turn into um, an emotion, which I appreciate. And so, so far what we have is, I stand alone, burn every bridge over troubled water, image-based image, uh, image -based line right there, no longer hiding from my personality disorder. Okay, for one, that's just a great book. That's just a great line. I mean, the, 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 the multi-syllabic ending there, personality disorder. It's five syllables in the final uh, two words perfectly parallel with troubled um, with the troubled water uh, th though it's one f the troubled water the troubled water yeah perfectly parallel with the troubled water that down to the syllables there um, and it's 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 a slant rhyme so so he, he introduces us to this image to this tone to this mood and then he introduces us to him uh, so a rather intimate detail uh, per uh, personality disorder uh, so he's created himself as a very compelling uh, character to be rapping about a stronger tide is coming i've been running so we have that nice assonant sound right there in the third line uh with that i sound uh, a stronger tide is coming he's definitely playing with that water again so he disrupted still water and now another a stronger tide is coming running definitely links up with the per um with this general sense of panic that is possibly coming or, or used to uh, live with him because he uh when he was hiding from himself um and then we have this same sort of i've been running right there i mean he he has five it's funny because it's the same sound there he has five i sounds right there in two lines we have stronger tide is coming i've been running trying to find uh uh try, trying to function fine without my mind so again, he's linking he's linking that back to personality disorder. It's a, this is not a punchline driven intro at all. Um, this is very much uh, on on the uh, authentic side of hip hop. On the uh, which which is not to say that punchlines are disingenuous at all. What I'm trying to say is this is more about like um, tr tr treating it more as an intimate expression of oneself to their audience, uh, op opening themselves up. Uh, this is very much in the poetic realm. Uh, I would not be surprised if he has a background in slam poetry in some way. Okay, just real quick, the last thing I want to say before I let this play a little bit is, uh, 
he, the, you can tell that he's tying this all to a greater uh, to a greater message and theme because he's also tying he's taking breaks and he's tying rhymes back to the original rhymes. So the first rhymes were water disorder, um, and then we have this sort of that, that multi sound I. And even though not that much real estate uh, grew between them or space grew between the, those lines, we have the we have those six sounds. We have tied, I've, try, find, mine, climb. Um, and then we get to corner. So he does eventually, after those like six sounds, link it back to the original rhyming sound. He's just, he's doing it every single time. I'm sorry, I'm gonna let this play out, I swear. But he's doing this every single time and it's just beautiful. I was born a thorn. He's hitting us with these sounds again and again. It's, he's giving us these repetitive sounds and he's really, he's almost, since right now, most of, <clears throat> Excuse me. Ooh, it's while it's alive there. Uh, since right now what he's giving us mostly is a, an instrumental that's um, very melodic. Uh, it's it, there's I haven't heard much of a percussion in it at the moment. Maybe it's, yeah. There, there's there's not much of a percussion in there. And so what he's offering us is this repetitive sound, which is almost acting as the percussion to me. It's almost acting as the as, as the uh, beat to the song. Uh, it's really give, He's giving us the reason to go with his words. <laughs> I mean, pedals to forgotten rebel. Uh, for for one, that's always the, uh, the when I think of that, I think of like the the, the white rose, and then of course even in after the last airbender, the, the white lotus. Um, when you think of a rebellion, it, it does, often does have that beautiful imagery behind it uh, with with a flower. Um, so, it, just as far as what's happening right here, he's he's very much an image based rapper. We have we have the burning bridges. Now we have uh, he was a thorn on a rotten petal. I mean that that's quite the image right there. You have this thorn, which is will still stab you. It doesn't matter even if the petals themselves are uh, deteriorating. <laughs> that alliteration, heavy, heaven's heavy hands. Okay, so much. I, I wanted to let that play out a little bit because I felt like I was pausing a little too much. But uh, as, as far as like what's going on right here, the develop evident, we get uh, develop evident level of benevolence. That's consonants right there. So we have alliteration before with the triple H. Then we have this consonants right there, right there with the quadruple V. Um, and he continues it going with the devil sound in the following line. Uh, as far as the allusions that he is doing right there, it got a little biblical, not not quite. Sold my soul to the devil. You, you could argue that's a, a Bible uh, toss. You could also argue that selling your soul to the devil um, goes with just about any mythology because just about every uh, every story or every civilization has a story of selling of someone selling their soul to uh, an evil spirit in return for mortal gifts. Um, and just clue, uh, oh shoot, who was the famous, I'm blanking on his name right now, famous blues guitarist, Mississippi, wasn't Robert Johnson, uh, who, who, who famously sold his soul, like, uh, sold his soul, I'm gonna look it up right now, blues guitarist, uh, sold soul, what, what, was it Robert Johnson? Yeah, it was, it was Robert Johnson, famously sold, fame, I say famously, the, the story is he famously sold his soul to the devil to be the greatest blues guitarist of all time, um, anyway, that's such, that's such a tangent from this song, um, but it's, it's like as I, I keep saying, he is an image-based rapper. Uh, he's throwing out a lot of imagery. The metaphors, the, the metaphors are absolutely there. I mean, he, he was born a thorn on rotten rose, so he's he, his. But his metaphors are dipped in imagery. They're they're not dipped. He's not trying to make us laugh. Uh, he's certainly not going for the typical chemical. Uh, productions that one really tries to get their audience releasing their brains and they're trying to stimulate an emotion out of them so he's not he's not going for the uh, uh, what was the accent uh, he's he's not going for the endorphins um, and he's not going for adrenaline right now he is just painting pictures with his words uh, but in the whole but holy shit it is working uh, and it's a lot of movement going on too it's a lot of movement we, we have the ups and downs of the heavens and hells uh, the back and forth with the waters uh, it's just a lot of direction <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, poof. He is about to do this right now, and that is why I'm going to pause it. I say this all the fucking time. The E sound is the most versatile sound that you can rhyme with because you can just attach an adverb to any verb you want. You can modify any verb you want, uh, so you can take it in any direction you want, and you still get that E sound. You still get that L-Y-E sound afterwards. So he is about to do this right here. It's going to start with Steal My Energy. My energy. That links back to the waters quite well, and that links back to the rotten rows quite well, because the pollution is what is creating those initial images. That chain to change, um, it, 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 the, the fact that it comes on such a soft G sound really makes it sound like that we just got a hit triple chain sound, uh, which would have been, uh, it, it, even, though, even though they're different words, it sort the way it sounds, it almost gives you that homonym sound of uh, two words with completely different meanings. Uh, but in reality, he's just really mastering that assonance I keep bringing up. Uh, the other thing it's also offering us is direction, which I keep saying, he's, it, it's a very, um, it, it, it's a very action-oriented song based in imagery, uh, so we're constantly getting directions. So now we're getting a change in direction. Fuck that! That I mean, he's giving us so many images. I don't want to pause it every single time, like I was doing in the beginning. But uh, where, where was? I mean, morbid acid keeps the torture, unfortunately, for acid. And then uh, where was it? Interest to my or uh, in interest to orbit my portrait uh, and inflict my image with the, with disorder. That links back to like one of the first lines in the fucking song. And then the walls start to close in, which could argue is a cliche, but the way that he then uh, links it on with feels like the brain is hanging on by one clothespin, that's such a gorgeous image. I mean, it's, it can be disturbing too, but it's such a gorgeous image. It's a very vivid image. And it also, since it's coming hot off the heels of back-to-back -back lines about chains, and now we're getting a clothespin, it shows like sort of a weakening in what's holding, like he, we, we have, we have the body is bound down by like these heavy weights. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's 10 feet or 100 feet. And now, but now the brain is being held on by a clothespin. By one clothespin. From my personality disorder. You wanna die my life, we'll come and stay in madness and favorite little corner. Cause even shadows have shadows. And my secrets are eating me eagerly feeding the screen. My dreams away, but they can eat them shadows have shadows. And it's just your subconscious of an actor who murdered his child. You can stop the audience and shadows have shadows. I will buy the break free from my fears when I don't like what I see and I can't feel what I have. Shadows have shadows. So don't judge my whole client's cover cause my story's just as fucked up as any other.
tight, man. That was intense. That was a good fucking song. I love image-based rappers. I really do. Anyone that can connect to multiple senses with their songs, it's one of the reasons why I love uh, NF so much. Uh, but anyway, thank you all so much for the recommendations. As always, if you like this content, please hit the like and subscribe button at the bell notification. You can follow me on social media at AuthorRKGold. That's at AuthorRKGold on Twitter and Instagram. You can leave me your recommendations in the comments below or my DMs. They are always open. Stay safe out there. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here. Uh, your mental health is important as well, so you reach out to me via DM as well. Take care. Let's just keep enjoying great music together.